Reg McDaniel. I'd like to have a very special guest here tonight, Dr. Uh, Stephen uh, Janis, come up and just give you a couple of words about what Dr. McDaniel has meant to him. Good evening. I would just like to tell you a little, this, a little story in the history of medicine. A couple of hundred years ago, um, a lot of women who came in to have babies died in childbirth. It was very common in some places in Europe that about one in four women who came in to certain institutions to have their babies died in childbirth. Now, what, there was a young obstetrician who worked um, in Europe at that time, and what he noted was that the women, who, the prostitutes who were delivering their babies on the streets, who were not allowed into the hospital, they didn't die afterwards. They, they had the problems associated with delivering on the street and not being cared for, but they had nowhere near the rate of death. And so he noted that there must be something happening in hospitals between when, the, the, um, when women came in to the time that they were leaving that was causing them to develop such... Uh, such complications. And so what he did is he did a lot of research and he found that what was happening was that the medical students, when they were going from the pathology labs where they were dissecting, they would then go to the case room to deliver babies, but they wouldn't wash their hands. And they were introducing infection to these women and that's why they were dying. And so what he did is he introduced a hand washing technique, basically put in a bowl where people would wash their hands from going to the um, from the pathology area to the case room. And of course the maternal mortality, the rate of death, just plummeted. But despite this very easy and simple thing to do, his medical colleagues completely discarded what he said. He kept records, he kept statistics, he presented at meetings, but no matter what he said, the medical profession at the time wouldn't even consider. And he went through a lot of persecution until, of course, people realized that what he was saying was true. But it took a lot of courage. Um, and what I would like to say to you is that we are very fortunate to have Dr. McDaniel here this evening. Because as a physician, I can tell you that going against the medical establishment is not easy. Going against the way people are used to doing things isn't easy because people get comfortable in the way they do things. And, you know, some people have financial interests, some people are just comfortable in the way they do things. And medical uh, history shows that it's very hard to change the medical mind. Dr. McDaniel has done a lot of work in an area that ne not necessarily has been very accepted by physicians over the years. And he has not had an easy time all the time, but he has persisted, and he has had immense courage. But, and through his persistence and courage, countless people, including probably many people in this room, have, had, have enjoyed life and have improved and been healed of a variety of con conditions as a result. And so, personally, on behalf of everybody and so many people throughout the world, I just want to say thank you, and if you could put your hands together in appreciation. Of that. Thank you for that. In case you're wondering if this doctor is with the company or in the tour with Dr. McDaniel, the answer is no. He's an OBGYN from right here in Edmonton. So that's a tribute to Dr. McDaniel.